What's going on guys? So I got the LP2844 Zebra thermal printer here and it's got an issue. Now this issue unfortunately came when I got it. So I ordered this one refurbished and an easy way to find out if you have this issue is when you first start printing. So I'm going to go ahead and let's put it in dump mode real quick so it can print. It's a simple fix, uh, and if you bought it refurbished from the company or new, you can get replacement parts for free because they'll, they'll warranty it. Um, or they'll, they'll warranty it out, or they'll send you um, the parts. But if not, you can order the parts, uh, depending on where you get them. They're pretty cheap, um, considering how much one of these new or used can cost. Um, so, you see, right here, there's a line that comes up. It disappears, it looks like, but it actually doesn't, and it keeps continuing all the way up. And the problem is with shipping printing labels is there's barcodes. Let's turn to take this out of dump mode real quick. And I'll show you the issue. Alright, so let's go to power the unit off. Open her up. And you have a thermal printing head right here. So it's easy to replace. There's two screws here and two screws over here. But if you look right here, right where it is, there's a little gouge on mine. I got mine refurbished, so this part was not replaced according to the seller. Um, but I have a little gouge and that is actually what's causing my line. Now, sometimes you just have a piece of dirt or some junk, and you can clean it with 91% rubbing alcohol or better. Don't want to use anything lower than 90, they say. And you can just clean it up really well, and that'll usually get rid of that issue. Um, you might periodically get this issue, and it could just be dirt. But if you have a constant, you want to examine this really well. So I can get the camera to focus better. And as you can see, right... Right there, I have a gouge. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but there is a gouge on mine. There's a little one right here, but it's not affecting the actual printing. So, I'll take these two screws out. We'll replace the head when it comes in. I'll make a video on that. But you can eBay, Amazon, or one go to one of the parts sites and get these. Um, make sure you turn it off. Let it cool down. If not, you're going to burn yourself and possibly damage the old unit or the new unit, depending on how you... If you don't turn it off, you can damage the new one when you put it in, and if you leave it on, you're going to burn burn yourself. And if you're just taking it out to clean it or um, check it out better, you could damage the old unit as well. But that's pretty much this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, um, make sure to hit that thumbs up. It really helps out with the algorithm. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me or leave a comment below.